It is a day of wine and roses. <laughs> Super wine girl Angela Aiello is here in person for the first time in like what? Almost three years? Yeah, exactly. Taking us uh, through uh, a really important French rosé. Mm -hmm. We're headed to French the Provence. Roses. And love yes, this. of course, with aromas of, of pink, pink petals and flowers. I love, I mean, look at this wine. It's gorgeous, right? T today we have in front of us Poche Provence, Minuti, Chateau Minuti. 85 years they've been making wine as a family estate. What I love about <laughs> is the bottle shape and Chateau Minuti. And I mean, I poured us a nice glass here. And you can tell from this gorgeous pale salmon color. I mean, we're talking about color in rosé. And rosé can come in many different types of color. But the iconic Provence rosé is this color. So we have a little extraction from the grapes. The grapes for this wine are Grenache, um, which is in, sort of indigenous to the south of okay, France. So it's a red. It's a red grape, yeah. yes, and yeah. we made a rosé wine with it. And like I said, lots of aromas of fresh floral and I think French garrigue. You ever stand in a French countryside and it smells like lavender and rosemary? Yes, yes. That's kind of what this wine smells like. So, and we have take really a little large smell. glasses. Yes, here. for television. Oh, it does smell very nice. And orchard peaches. I love the aromas of this wine. It's an elegant wine, which means the acid is nice and fresh on these wines. The aroma is beautiful, and they're wonderful for pairing, too, which is really quite great. And because I, I think of rosé often as, as a sipping wine. Mm -hmm. Aperitif, perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it's made for. Having a, that sunset, that golden hour when you're having a glass of rosé, summer salads, tuna tartare, sushi, a great uh, match as well. And uh, Chateau Minuti is sustainable, and all the grapes are actually, you know, picked by hand. They're one of the last chateaus in France, in Provence, to actually pick the grapes by hand. And did you go there? Uh, I've been to Provence. It's one of okay, the most beautiful yes. places it, in the world. It is. It, it is. is very beautiful. Right down there, you know, Saint Tropez is kind of the iconic center where everybody goes, the Hollywood stars go you see mm -hmm. everybody down there enjoying the, their yachts and the glamorous kind of sights of Provence and this is where rosé really kind of came to be and this bottle shape is also very iconic for Provence you see a lot of these very clear bottles you can see the color and then also different shapes and sizes as well okay now does a different color does it it, it matter to the taste or or Great almost question. like the texture or smell of of the rosé. Absolutely. In Italy, it's called rosato. In Spain, it's called rosato with a T. And in France, it's called rosé. So different words, but the color of the wine has no indication on the sweetness levels. And oh, okay. in fact, a very large percentage of rosé wines, including the wines from Cote de Provence, from Chateau Minuti uh, included, are very dry. Right, they're and not so sweet. Because not you, sweet you, you see that and you think, oh, it's going to be too sweet for me. Yeah, and that's exactly. why rosé kind of had a bad rap for mm -hmm. so many years, right? But it's really coming back. A Definitely, it's coming back with a stronghold. In fact, Provence is well known as sort of that uh, premium, ultra premium place where you can go for rosé wines that are great with food. There, it costs a little bit more. This wine is $27.95, but it's the top tier, you know, Hollywood rosé that everybody's drinking, and you spend a little bit more for those dinner time wines. Right, and people are spending a little bit more on themselves right now, right? Absolutely. Right? I mean, it's August. It's the perfect time for a rosé. You know, it really is. Whether you're eating light, whether you're entertaining guests, whether you're out on the barbecue, even like tuna tartare on the barbecue or a pork tender loin these wines kind of go really well with them and I have a little trick when it comes to food and wine pairing okay it's about pairing the color of the wine with the color of the food and so if we can think about sort of that pink flavor wheel of food okay we've got watermelon salads we have beets we have tuna tartare we have shrimp we have all these really interesting um, foods that are lined up into that pink color that rosé color that pairs perfect with these wines okay awesome and the roses as well <laughs> cheers to you cheers. so nice to see you my friend cheers. in person again we'll be back with more morning life like tomorrow Ha, ha, ha.